Let's see. All right. So, a band called Tarot. Okay. Front man, Marco Hayatala from Nightwish. Do I want him back with Nightwish? Yes. Will I get my wishes? Probably not. But I'm not, I'm not giving up hope. It's been like a year almost, you guys. December 12th, y'all. One year. Damn. I hope he's got rested up. But he's in a band called Tarot. This is for Victor Miller. This is Ashes to the Stars. If I can't have Marco with Nightwish, I'll have him with Tarot and Northern Kings and Powerless Trio. Fine. Ashes to the Stars! And it's live! Soldiers, not yet. that bass do you did you see his fingers are like they're like magic he's strumming it like a guitar it might be a guitar i'm not sure if he's playing a bass or a guitar but the way he's playing it is just so seamless and just it's not he's not stopping it's rhythmic he's like a snake charmer almost this dude can sing man Tommy, What I really, really, really want to do now, and I don't know if I have to, but like, do I gotta go to Finland to see Tarot? Like, cause I would. It's like, man, I love watching him and his other projects because what I'm thinking right now while he's on stage and he's just screaming that Marco scream, right? Them, them vocals, they're so powerful. And he's doing, like, I can't even walk and chew, chew bubblegum at the same time. I can barely sit here and talk to you guys at the same time. Legibly. And he's sitting here playing this, this guitar or bass, whatever he's playing. And he's singing at the same time. But he's going so powerful. So what I'm thinking is, this is Marco. This is what he wants to sing. And this is his all. But... A lot of people get that common misconception like, 
oh, he left Nightwish because he had no uh, creative input. That is so not true. Because we all seen in Endless Forms Most Beautiful where they all played a part in that songwriting process. Marco did his own parts, you know. But Marco, it, it's so cool because he can do anything. He can be in any kind of band and it sounds so freaking good. Hello, Patrick. Sabaton Land! It is his base. to know is when Marco released that statement you guys speaking about the record companies and how political it is and and you know how they are just they take all their money and stuff and Marco wanted to step away from that well this is the same like that's the same label Nightwish is on so I'm thinking like damn did he release himself from Nightwish? And what about Tarot? Because I've seen him in like Powerless Trio and Northern Kings. And then that performance that he did at Harry's in Finland. It was a pub that was closing. And I'm thinking to myself, Marco would probably be better off being like an independent artist. He's got the following. No matter what he does, it's going to sound freaking amazing. 